before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment snacks down below and honor these gummy bears that I'm eating right now. I'm, I'm, those gummy bears were delicious, man. If y'all really f with the gummy bears, man, let me know down in the comment section, man. Anyway, comment snacks down in the comment section is going to do two things for y'all. Number one, at the end of the month, which is today, we're going to tally up today our average views across the videos. If we have hit 10K, then we're going to give away a next gen console. But if we don't, don't worry. We gonna do the same thing again next month, man. All y'all gotta do is keep pushing the videos higher and higher. Like the videos, comment on the videos. What that does is that gets us, that gets the video out to everybody that is subscribed to us so that we can get more views and that you know we can grow faster and all that good stuff. That's number one. Number two, every single Friday, we give away $50 in either cash out, $50 in VC, or um, a copy of any video game that you want, man. I'm gonna start doing that right there. Uh, the guy, Ed Smith, he won this week. Like he said, that was a blessing to him because, you know, he had some stuff going on in, in, in you know, his engine blew up and all. You see it right there up there. And last but not least, the bots are back. Make sure y'all don't talk to the bots. If you see something and it says a Jay Easy with no video, bro, I got like 2,000 videos on this channel. Don't be going with nobody. They ain't got no videos. They put their phone number in the thing, and then they telling you to get them on Telegram. Well, y'all know I only got Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Black Planet, man. Come on, man. Stop doing that, man. Stop, stop. Don't talk to them. I'm banning them as I can, but if I don't tell you to hit me up on one of those two, three platforms, it's not me. And without further ado, good morning out there in 2K land, man. Hey, y'all might want to know about this shirt that I got on, man. Let me show y'all. So I'm going to put y'all onto this site that I got, I, I found yesterday, man. It's, uh... Oh, we're looking at the wrong one. Hold on, hold on. Wrong display. Give me a second. It, it got it. Look, it, I hit the button, but it didn't do what we wanted to. There we go. Breeze seeds, man. Check it out. Go down. Get you one of them lockdown university shirts. Get you one of these Goku Saiyan shirts. A lock shirt. Any of that stuff, man. Check it out. Better Sword than Sorry is the shirt that we got on today, as y'all can see. And you can go through and do it in any style, any fabric, anything that you want, man. So make sure y'all check that out, man. Um. Cause that's Breeze Tees, that's, that's what we do, man. And uh, up first, man, and without further ado, let's just get the video underway, man. First up, man, we got the boy, 85 Ja. He's saying, 2K is dead, but don't play it or watch it. It's not that hard. And that's something that I always been saying, man. I'm trying to tell people this all the time. Hey, the guy Sir Dot says, I, they swear it's dead, but they still go in every chat on every post and say the game is dead. And then, uh, you know, you see the boy, you see the boy EJ, he said, uh, like I said, 2K, 2K ain't dead. And I'm telling y'all, man, this is one of those tactics that the, that the uh, upper echelon in, uh, in creators employ every single year. This is what they do, bro. They go out there, they say the game is dead, they want you to think the game is dead, so they can keep posting, and they can keep uh, posting, streaming, and doing everything. They can keep profiting off, profiting off of it, but they really want, they, the, the views have dwindled a little bit. Let's say if I was getting 10,000 views every video, Right now, I'm probably getting seven or eight, right? So the views are doing it a little bit. So they, they go panic, hit the panic button. Ah, 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 2K is dead, it's dead, it must be dying. I gotta, I gotta go in there and psychologically dwindle down the competition so that there's less competition so that my videos get the views and my stream get the views because everybody gonna quit because they think the game, shut the f up. Shut the f up. This game ain't dead. This is probably as live as 2K has been since since like 2K16 when when it was crunk all the way up until like June when they gave it away for free and all of that. I think that this one this is one of those 2Ks that got legs and one of those 2Ks that has the distance. I mean has the um they they got the power. I think this might be one that can actually go the distance because right when things start ratcheting down, what we going to get? November in the end of November, beginning of December or whatever, we going to get what are we going to get? We going to get the uh we going to get that shot out of here first. Woo! Hey, boy, who get that shot out of here, Jay? But anyway, uh, one of the things that we're going to get is going to be... Hold on, get Hey, uh, one of the things that we are going to get is going to be the 3v3 is going to come back. Then we're going to get the 2K League. And then we're going to have 3v3 tournaments sprinkled throughout the whole year and stuff, man. So I just think I think that we really just getting started. Ain't no sympathy. No, ain't no help from me. No sympathy from me. And look at me smoke that thing. Look at the contact. Don't my say contact. Look at nobody else. Anyway, I think that what we're going to end up with is a situation where it's like this game actually has legs to go all year. 
Last time, last year, this time, the left writing was at an all time high. A lot of people were turned off to the game. A lot of people, the game was really too easy. There was really only one jump shot in the game, one set of dribble moves, one set of everything. I feel like the way that 2K did it this year, where you have to learn and you have to figure things out. You know, like I said, some people ain't even got their core badges yet and stuff like that. So with the way that you gotta learn stuff and you have to con continuously be involved in this game and it's just not easy, uh, you got to actually work your way up. I think it was brilliant and I think it's one of those things that's gonna keep the community involved all year, especially, you know, it really doesn't matter if you're on current or next gen. It's just gonna be one of those where people are gonna continue to play the game because the game is fun and it's a good game and it's not a whole lot of cheese in it. now. That's not to say that they won't find the cheese or something won't come up where somebody can score every time. And you know, I mean, it's, I've seen a lot of stuff already, but it's not game breaking, it's not game ruining. And they've done a great job of mitigating that with the adrenaline and all of that. So all the stuff that the other people say that they don't like, uh, you know, the people that are the casuals at the game, they do like kind of kind of like how Call of Duty is, right? I like this Call of Duty, but a lot of the hardcore people, they say they don't like this Call of Duty, this particular one, and I can understand that. But me as a casual coming in, and and you know, I used to be hardcore on Call of Duty, so I used to be real hard on Call of Duty. But now, I, I look at it from a different perspective. I just like to play the game. I like the game. I don't like some of the maps and stuff, but you know, it's cool. I can figure everything else out because they slowed it down and they got it to be a more tactical game and stuff like that. And I'm actually digging that. And you talking about Mr. Run My, Run, I used to be, look, I think my channel is still called Jay Easy the Running Man, because that's what I used to be in Call of Duty. Just run, run, run. I can't do that no more, but I'm still enjoying the game from from a different perspective and taking a different route and stuff like that. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I don't think the game is even near dead, but you know, I think that a lot of people just want you to think that so they can dwindle down the con competition artificially and then they can get, you know, they can be up on top because they're not going to stop playing. They're not going to stop streaming. They're not going to stop doing any of that. They're just going to say that every day to try to cast doubt, get other people that want to start. Well, I, I can't really start because 2K is dead. And then that's what they're going to do, man. So you know what it is, what it is. Up next, they got this boy. The boy Po Boy said, man, this dude Thomas Cunt, bro, I don't even know. Like, it just, this is always something that people want to do to people to try to knock somebody that's grinding and hustling and doing all of that. You can't you can't grind harder than seeing. I'm going to show y'all that in a second, bro. Talking about some dead channel. I went to Thomas Cunning's channel, all right? But we're gonna, we gonna talk about that. And it's always exactly what you think it is. It's somebody that that did that tried to do it, they couldn't do it, and they didn't do it. And then Sin just said, hey, look, never give up is the key to life. I hope you stay blessed. Hey, you did better than me, Sin. I'm not gonna lie to you, my boy. I would have answered that with, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm out here grinding, doing my thing, trying to take care of my family and the kids and all of that good stuff. And all you can do is come through here with and hate and project your failure on your boy. I ain't having it. I ain't having it over here. Hey, look, Sin is answering these comments way better than I am because look, I'm, I'm just, I'm, that's what I'm gonna tell you. And I'm just gonna block you and keep on going on about my day. You can't tell somebody, somebody do heavy in the community, 237,000 subs. You talking about some dead chat, bro, stop. Y'all got to quit with this stuff, man. And that's what I'm saying. People that tried to do it and don't know how hard it is to stay relevant all these years. They always got something to say about that when they don't realize that literally 1% of your YouTube people are normally who gonna watch your video. You lucky if you can get 10. One to 10% is literally what you get over time. Look at Chris Moo, millions of subs. He averaging about 150 to 250, maybe 500 here and there, thousand. That's, that's, that's literally what you get, one to 10%. Per video, it's hard to it's hard to wrap your head around that. But you gotta realize that when you're in the game, as long as a lot of people are, like like people grow up. Like I said, people that people that were with me, let's say my, my boy Polly P, right? Polly P, I used to play with him 2009. You talking about 14 years later? Polly P's son was 10 at that time. Now Polly P's son, and he didn't graduated college. Probably got kids and all of that stuff. Of course he's probably not, and I didn't change my content up. Of course people are not going to look and stay the uh, same amount of time. So y'all got to stop with that, man. But they're not going to unsubscribe because they do like to come through and listen to me say, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up sometimes. You know, they like that, man. So you know it is what it is. And this is what it really come down to right here. Your supporters and your congratulators. This is what it is right here. That's what it really comes down to. That's what it looks like. That's what it feels like. Like, just like yesterday, I'm sitting there in the server Getting out and answered over a hundred messages to get people into the server 
to, to do the Asian trick or treating early or whatever so they can get all their stuff early. I done answered over 100 messages on stream. Stream don't even got 100 likes. So you got people coming in there begging to get into the stream that hadn't even liked the video yet. But am I being anal to them? No, I'm just like, hey, come on through, come on that. But, and it's taking you more time to ask me for an invite than it is for you to, to, to just like the video. I can't even get likes on the video, but you want me to do something for you, but you won't do something that's gonna take my time, but you won't do something for me that won't take time at all. But you know it is what it is. Speaking of trick or treat, that boy, G, uh, IQ Contain said, current gen people only got six trick or treat spots. Yeah, day, and it might be all right because we had a lot of trick or treat spots. But some people had stuff like that. Look at that boy, Double A say, one VC, 2K gotta be trolling me. I guess 2K is trolling, man. They do be on their trolls sometimes, man. It is what it is. But you know, we just gotta keep going, keep persevering, and we gonna be all right, man. Last but not least, what we got for y'all, man. We got the boy, uh, somebody, that guy, he asked Baluba a question, and this was the question that he asked. Dear Baluba, hey, Mike. What do the sliders for coverage and timing actually do? You guys don't put any information out at all, at all about sliders that I've been able to find. Please help. And then Mike just come along, man, and he just says, you know, this is something that this, he inadvertently explains something that we've been wanting to know. So coverage and impact timers make, uh, make the effects of those two aspects of shooting less or more important. So he says, if you zero out coverage impact, which I guess that would be like that would be just like defensive immunity. Open shots and smothered shots are treated the same. So it doesn't matter. So defensive immunity, I guess that's the higher defensive immunity is, then you know the, the more your cover shot is gonna act like your um, you know, the, the more your cover shot is gonna act like your uh open shot, wide open shot, more or less. This is what I'm translating it to. And then it says if you zero out uh and if you and if smother shot, and if you zero out time and impact then you basically playing on real player percentage. So that right there got me kind of shook though because I can understand the higher your, so I guess the higher your time and, well that, that makes sense then because the higher your time and impact is, the more, your, the bigger your green window is. So the more that you, I guess the more that you raise it, it's just like zeroing it out. So the more that you, that you, that you the more defensive immunity you have, the more it's gonna act like a, a open shot if it's covered. And the more, the higher your time and impact is, the bigger your green window is. That's something that we knew all about anyway, but hey, at least Mike put it out there and kind of let us know in a roundabout way what it is, man. I think that we know uh, because the bigger your green window is, like if your green window is as big as the whole thing, then you're gonna be pretty much on real player percentage or whatever, so I get that. And uh, But like we said though, we know that time and impact don't really make that big of a difference because on this game, you got a green anyway, so if you can green, you green. I really think that a lot of this stuff like, like, I really think in my heart of hearts that they did not intend to make this game this way where, you, where it was green or nothing. I really think that it was gonna be like last time because otherwise they wouldn't even put time and impact up there because I think time and impact, like if you had an A plus time and impact, it would just mean that you would hit more whites, but you don't hit you don't hit full whites in this game, so it really doesn't matter. But I think that the game was originally designed to be like 2K22, where you would hit more full whites and stuff like that. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section about that, man. Y'all believe Mike and y'all don't. I can see it. I can definitely say, I can see it. Listening to Mike tonight. Hey, look, I, I can believe it, man, because like I said, uh, it really doesn't make a big difference because you've got the green in any way, but I could definitely see where they were trying to go with it when they were like, hey, look, you know, if you had, um, where they were trying to go with it, where if it was like last year, you would, you know, you know, if it was the higher your time and impact would have been, the more shots you would have hit or my, more big whites you would have hit, or rather. Anyway, I'm just combobulated at this point, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Uh, comment snacks down there, your favorite snack at the end of your comment section. Uh, Ed Smith, you won, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Guys, please.